What's up ladies and gentlemen, Double DRC here. Uh, we're going to do a painting video this time, not an unboxing video. Uh, we got two Porsche bodies here. Uh, one's off my buddy's Sport 3 Flux, and mine's going to go on my Sport 3 Non-Flux, because I have the brush motor, and he has the brushless motor. Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> So, uh, we took some video before, I'm not sure if we, we mentioned much about it, but uh, this is my Porsche body that we started here. Uh, we we uh, prepped it. Uh, to prep it, if you've never pa painted a body, you basically want to do warm water and scrub it all the oils out, because when you touch it with your hands it gets oils and the paints don't like to stick to that. And my buddy JJ Wheeler here told me to also take a scotch bright and scuff the inside that way the paint has something to adhere to but not the windows but not the windows but I did the windows but whatever uh, I do have some window tint that I might be able to put on here to kinda hopefully maybe not show the scratches too much but anyway, we got it painted a candy orange, and then we're going to do a silver undercoat. And as if you can see, I'm not sure if you can, uh, the trunk, the hood, this is the roof, not the hood, and the hood here, I had taped off. That way the silver uh, shows through on them spots. And I also did the body kit. Also, I don't know if you can quite see it, but I did around the edge of the body kit. So hopefully that, all that will specifically be silver where everything else is orange. Because I hope, hope to give it a, a nice little flare. Um, after you do clean out the inside of the body, you want to make sure to put your window stickers in. That way it keeps the paint from going on the windows because obviously you don't want them on the windows. Uh, unless you want to go for a full body paint and not worry about clear windows. And it doesn't matter. Um, some of the stickers due to the humidity kind of came off, uh, but those are the tail lights, and they're going to get painted or not painted. They're going to get stickered, so it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, also, the headlights the same way, but uh, I have these headlight buckets here that I want to try putting in because eventually I want to try doing uh, LEDs throughout the body because I have not done that yet. Uh, obviously, I'm I'm new to painting. So this is all pretty much, pretty much new area for me. Uh, after we paint this inside silver and let it dry, then I will have to trim the body because it has all this excess Lexon. So we'll have to trim it to fit. Um, this is also another body I did by myself. Uh, this was the very first body I painted. Uh, I didn't really do a video on it. I wanted to, but I kind of stopped doing videos, so here we are again. But it didn't turn out too bad. The only problem is, watch what you use for tape. Uh, the, this first body I used cheap masking tape, and I'm not sure if you can see, but the blue bled through on the tape and kind of made it look like crap, which there's nothing I can do about it. But all in all, for my first body, I, 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 it turned out really well. I'm actually happy with it. So this body, we did a little bit more professional because I have an L Professional here to my right to uh, give me some tips, tips and trade tricks and all that good stuff. So I think that's it with my body. Do you want to talk about your body? Sure. Your body. Oh, <laughs> so this is the Sport 3 Flux. We had the unboxing video of it, ran it, fun car. I didn't care for the stickers, so I ditched them, took them all off. We cleaned the residue, which is a pain. I do recommend Googling if you ever wanted the sticker or car that comes with all these stickers. But uh, we did have one issue. The issue was the tape. So once again, tape issues. The painter's tape doesn't like to stick to these Lexon bodies, especially when they have stickers already on top of them. So, we use Play-Doh. 
So I used to be an auto body painter, and sometimes when you couldn't stick either with those weather stripping or something that you had problems covering up that you couldn't use painter's tape, um, we used to use putty, Play-Doh, something along the lines. But we're going to be painting this on the outside. We roughed it up with uh, some high grit. Uh, you want to try to use like an emery cloth or a scotch Bright pad, something just to rough up the surface so the paint has something to adhere to. And I do recommend that you wet sand it when you do do it. So cover up everything you don't want painted. Uh, I had to do it with Play-Doh on these windows. And then just nice even strokes across the board. We're going to give this one a tester's blue metallic flake. So we're going to try this one out and then here's the silver. It's going to be a tester's diamond dust. And that is what's going on the underbody of his. And mine will have blue, this blue. And then where all the stickers are, I'm keeping them there because we'll be peeling them off after the paint. And then once that's done, I'm going to be laying down uh, a carbon fiber vinyl over it. So it should look pretty sharp by the time we're done. I would think so. I would think so. A um, couple things. I noticed uh, you still have tape here on the back lights for those to cover around here. Uh, now, that tape looks like it sticked good. Are you still going to leave that tape on? Or? Yeah, for some reason that, that tape decided to stay where it was at. Uh, but now I'm just going to ditch that and put Play-Doh everywhere. Uh, the headlights, I'm actually going to be stealing off of Dane. So, he had all these stickers. He's running the buckets on his. So, I'm going to be taking his stickers off his Porsche body and throwing them on my Porsche body. And then eventually, uh, I don't know, maybe down the road, we'll drill that out, that little headlight spot out, and throw an LED in there. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, I think that's, we pretty much covered the basis. Uh, now, do you have any recommendations when putting the Play-Doh on? Because, like, do you, when you, after, I, okay, what I'm, what I'm asking is, what, after you push it on and everything, are you going to take a knife around it to kind of try to make yeah. it even So, line? a squeegee, a knife, something, a butter knife would actually work really good. But, basically, you're going to want to, like, smush it over wherever you don't want it painted. And then, when you're taking the knife, we'll just use this little Allen key here. Uh, once you have it, basically, you're just going to line it back up against the lines of the body. Mm, okay. So, once you line it back up, you know you're good for paint. All right, well, uh, I think we got a pretty much a good update on everything we're going to do here. We're going to try to get some video of both, painting both of them. We got to finish doing a little prep to his before we go to the paint shop, a.k.a. my garage. Um, but this one's ready to go. The only thing I will say that I did forget to mention is when you, when you do the body with tape and you tape them up or whatever, uh, humidity is a big thing. I noticed uh, after we painted some of the uh, body tape for the tail lights actually curled up because of the humidity and uh, unfortunately they got some paint on but I'm gonna be putting stickers on anyway so not too concerned about that my biggest concern was the headlights since I'm gonna try to do the buckets with LEDs in them later uh, unfortunately they curled up a little too but that'll just be the way the cookie crumbles Worst comes to worst, I would just cut out that Lexon and maybe figure something out for that. Well, ideally for paint, you want a paint booth. Something with a ventilation fan, controlled temperatures, but yeah, we don't have a paint booth. Yep, we don't. Or are we going to make yeah, one because we're not that serious into it. Yep. This is a channel for everyday guys doing everyday kind of stuff. We're not, you know, super professionals. We're not going to, we know we're not going to be put in an RC magazine, but we're fine with that. I would like to be in Well, maybe you know. I'd like to be in the magazine. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to catch a video of painting this. And then I might also do a video on trimming uh, because you do have to trim the excess Lexon off the bodies after you're done painting it, which it's not really a hard task. It's tedious, though, because there's a lot of curves, and to get them done properly you really got to take your time it's nothing to rush always take your time make sure you do it right the first time because you won't have a second time I'll tell you that right now true what he said <clears throat> so 
All right, I think we'll uh, we'll cut her here and uh, we'll get to some prepping and we'll bring you back for the painting in just a moment. See you in a little. Things are still here. I don't know. <laughs> 